Hi, my name is Jackson Tungus. My science experiment is charging your iPod with fruits and vegetables, as shown right here. If you search on YouTube, you will find a lot of videos showing that it is possible to charge your iPod with fruits or vegetables. Others say it is a hoax. My question is, can you charge your iPod with fruits or vegetables? My hypothesis is, you cannot charge your iPod with fruits or vegetables. We are going to try several different experiments I found on YouTube. For experiment number one, you will need two 3-inch galvanized nails, your USB cable, two copper wires, the wire cutter, one apple, one orange, one banana, and of course, your iPod. Strip each end of the copper wire with the wire cutter. On one end, strip half an inch of copper wire. On the other end, do one and a half inch wire. Do this for each wire. Step two, take each tie wire and wrap, around, and wrap the one and a half inch side around the nail four times. Do this for each wire and nail combo. Take the na Step three, take the nail end and sink it into the orange about one inch. Do the same with the second wire and nail combo into the apple. Step four, take each of the one half of the half inch wire and put it into the banana about one inch apart from each other. If there, this is where your USB port will go eventually. The theory is that the acid from the fruit will travel through the nail and wire combo into the banana and the banana will act as a conductor to charge your iPod. Step 5. Let the fruit charge for a minimum of 30 minutes. Now that the fruit has been charging for at least 30 minutes, we can try charging my iPod. Sink the USB port this side up into the banana directly between the two wires from the apple and the banana. Connect the other end of the iPod. Watch for results. Oops. It might have lost the it might have lost the charge since the wire has been disconnected, but might still work. Don't think so. Even though the even though charging the iPod did not work, you can also use a voltmeter to see if there's actually any charge going on in here. Let's find out. Might take a little while. Well, it also looks like there's no charge in here, so guess not. This experiment might have might not have worked. Experiment number two will be working with a vegetable rather than a fruit. What you will need for this is a screwdriver, a white onion, two cups of Gatorade. I know this is huge. A measuring cup, make sure it's big enough to hold your two cups of Gatorade, your USB cable, your iPod, a towel, 
and a stand, such as this measuring cup. This will hold your onion. Step one, poke at least two holes into the onion using a screwdriver. This will allow the liquid to penetrate and absorb into the onion. If you poke only two holes, make sure one is on the left and one is on the right. Step 2. Pour at least two cups of Gatorade into your measuring cup. Make sure your measuring cup, like this one, is big enough to hold both the liquid and the onion. Step 3. Place the onion into the Gatorade, making sure the Gatorade is deep enough to cover the onion. If it's not, add a more Gatorade. Step number four. Let the onion sit in the Gatorade for at least 30 minutes. The theory is that the electrolytes in the Gatorade combined with the acid in the onion Form an electric current. Step 5. Remove the onion from the Gatorade and wipe it off and dry it off on the towel. Place onion on the stand to hold it up. We used a measuring cup. Step 7. Place a USB cord into the onion and give it a few seconds to charge. Maybe. Nope, no charge. Doesn't look like it this time. The onion one also failed. Like the fruits one, we can also use we can also use the meter reader to see if there is also any charge in the onion. Now in this one it doesn't really matter where you poke the hole. Doesn't look like there's a charge in this one either. The third experiment, we're going to try something similar to the onion over there, but except with a lime. What you will need is a screwdriver, one lime or lemon, doesn't really matter, measuring cup, two cups of Gatorade, of course your iPod, your USB cable, and paper towels. Step number one. Take a screwdriver and poke a hole through all the way through your lime slash lemon. Step two. Place the lime into the measuring cup and pour at least two cups of Gatorade over the lime slash lemon. Then the lime slash lemon should be completely submerged. Step three. 
Let the lime slash lemon and Gatorade sit for 35 minutes minimum. The theory is that the electrolytes in the Gatorade combined with the citric acid in the lime form an electric current. Now we will take the lime out of the Gatorade and dry it off, just like we did with the onion. Now I will cut a little hole through this, just so I don't get any lemon juice in my eyes. So the USB port can go in. I'm not sure this is going to work. I don't know why, but it doesn't look like it's working at all. We're going to try something else with this onion. We took the nail from the orange and this copper wiring. This is zinc, by the way. And uh, we're going to see if it actually has any charge. Got charge. How much is it? Like half a volt maybe? Half a volt to a volt? So as you can see, if you do put uh, copper and zinc together, you can possibly make a charge. We're going to do the same thing we did with the onion, except poke it into the banana and see if it actually has any charge going, coming from this. Got about half a volt, half a volt of charge. So this one also worked just about as good as the onion did for charging the iPod. Well, this one didn't work either for charging the iPad, but again, as we did with the other two, we're gonna charge it with uh, uh, zinc and copper and see if it works. Wow, they also got they also got a charge. In conclusion, my theory is that we have actually created electricity with all of these things, except we need this zinc and copper to actually form electricity and an electric current. Although, I do agree with the people that say it is a hoax.